Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel where we talk about interior design tips and inspiration. Today's video we're going to be discussing whether or not interior design is a luxury service and what that means. Before we hop into today's video, I just wanted to make an announcement that my website is now live. If you missed last week's video, then I talk about a freebie that you can get if you sign up for my email list through my website. So if you're interested in getting to know a little bit more about that, I will pop up the video up here so you can check that out. So to start off, the short, simple, and sweet answer is yes. That Interior design is absolutely a luxury service, but I think that there is some mental barriers around what a luxury service is, a luxury item might be, and why things that are luxury don't mean that it's only for ultra wealthy people. Let's think about what some luxury services or things might be that you do often in your life. So getting your nails done, getting your hair done, going on vacation, and eating out at a fancy restaurant. These are all some luxury things. It's kind of normal for people to do one, if not multiple of these things. So what exactly does luxury mean? My definition is luxury is anything that isn't needed for your survival. So there are non-essential things. No one's health is going to be in danger if you don't go get your hair done every three months or however often you get your hair done. And yes, dining at really nice restaurants is very fun and exciting, but as long as you still have access to food at home or other avenues, then it's not really a necessity. So that's why it is a luxury. I feel like a lot of people kind of think that luxury equals unattainable. And I don't really think that's the case because a few examples that I gave, a lot of people do those things on a regular basis. We as a society or as an individual have decided that even though those are luxury items, maybe they're not quite as special as what we think a luxury surface or item is because we've kind of deemed them as normal. So I think that this shows that luxury things are way more attainable than maybe we think they are. They're just as attainable as much as we value them. So if we really value get, making sure that we get our hair done on a regular basis, then that's not going to seem as luxurious to us because it is more attainable. Whereas something like buying a luxury car might feel more unattainable, making it feel more luxurious. So who exactly is interior design for if it's not just for really wealthy people? Well, there could be a million answers to this question, but I think probably the most common answer would be busy professionals. And more specifically, busy professionals who don't really have the time or the desire to make their house as beautiful and as functional as maybe their standard is. Now, there could be a lot more answers to this. If you have a rental property that you wanna put onto Airbnb, maybe you're gonna hire an interior designer because to make this look like a place that will attract a lot of people from a certain demographic, you wanna make sure that your listing for your rental property is going to be very attractive and is going to attract the people that you're wanting to run your space. Or if you're really into entertaining and hosting, that interior design could be more of a value to you because you have people over to your house all the time and you wanna show off your space, make it more comfortable for the people that you have over and so on. So this kind of begs the question, why don't more people hire interior designers? And the easiest answer for that is probably just because there's so many people that want to and can do it themselves. And putting together your house is completely 100% fine. I mean, I think that a lot of people really enjoy doing interior design things and making their house feel special. So I'm definitely not knocking anyone who does that because I think that that's probably the general population. But an example that I like to give is kind of comparing interior design to a hairstylist. You don't absolutely need a hairstylist to change the color of your hair. You can go to the grocery store, buy a box dye, and put a, one color on your whole entire head of hair and then you have a new hair color, right? But you're going to trust a professional to perform that service for you. And if you're trying to level up your hair, let's say that you want more dimension in your hair, you want more highlights, you want more movement, you want a special cut, you want a different look, and you wanna make sure that it looks really good, then you're probably gonna to go to a professional hairstylist because they have the education, they have the experience, and they're a professional, so you can trust them to do a really good job with your hair. So I think that that's really similar to interior design. Absolutely, you can do it yourself, but if you're wanting a refresh on your home, if you're wanting to make your home better than what you feel it is currently, then hiring a professional who has the education, has the experience, 
and has the expertise, then that's why you'd probably want to hire an interior designer. And that is everything that I have for today's video. Let me know if you have any questions about interior design services, or maybe if you're wondering if hiring an interior designer is a good fit for you, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I'd love to have a conversation with you. That is everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next week. Bye!